Hi, this is uh, Craig with Quality Water Treatment, also known as Craig the Water Guy. I hope you guys are doing great today. Quality Water Treatment has been in business since 1990. Uh, I personally have over 37 years experience in the water treatment industry. And today I want to go over on how to properly size a commercial water softener for your business. Uh, there has been um, the traditional way of doing this. And how you size a commercial water softener has changed dramatically over the last few years. Be more because there has been some issues with uh, traditional sizing of water softeners by not taking in what we call critical flow rates into the calculation of size the systems properly. So I'll give you an example. You have a hotel that's shown here in the illustration. And... Uh, the person that sized the system for you said, well, your peak flow rate is 200 gallons per minute, so we need the traditional system here, which are two 24 by 72 tanks uh, that are going to work uh, together. So as you're using water, the tank it flows through tank one. Once it gets 200 gallons per minute, tank two turns on, gets you up to 200 gallons per minute. As you slow down on your water usage certain times of the day, when you're not at the peak, it slows down below 100, now you're back on the tank one, okay? Uh, that's pretty traditional. There's a few different issues that uh, uh, people have been running across with these in some applications, not all. And it took them a while to figure it out. What is is channeling. So the problem with this is that you're only taking the peak flow rate into consideration. You're not taking the low flow rate. So there's hardly anybody in this hotel at certain times of the day, right? Your uh, occupancy rate is really close to zero. And there's really not a whole lot going on as far as water usage goes. So your flow rate's now running through this big use tank is less than five gallons per minute in some cases. And you can run, you know, let's say 100 gallons, 1,000 gallons a day on average through this system at those very low flow rates. This creates what we call channeling through this resin bed because it's such a large amount of resin with a big tank. And what I mean by channeling as the water enters the system, normally it would fill, go across this whole resin bed. It would be equally out throughout. And then go up through the distributor tube to the business, okay? Well, what happens is because the flow rate is so low, the water can't push through at a fast enough rate. That creates what we call a channeling issue, which is a stream that it opens up the resin bed here. So as you use the water, not all of the water is contacted with the resin because it's going through that, that channel, right? So that creates you to have water that is not 100% treated. You have some what we call water hardness bleed through. Okay. The other issue is that you have like a two inch or a three inch meter on this big tank. If you're not hitting the critical flow rate to activate that meter so it can read your water usage properly, now you've run X amount of water through the system without the system even knowing that you ran it through there. So that causes, can cause the system not to regenerate when it's supposed to and you run out of hard water uh, I mean soft water, sorry, you run out of soft water before the system can regenerate and that causes all kinds of problems. You get hard water throughout your hotel in this case, boilers, hot water heaters, stuff like that. So that could cause some major issues. So it took people a while to figure out what was going on, what was creating those issues. Well, this is what's creating those issues. So we have solved that problem with going with the responsive flow multi-tank system called MTS. The way these systems work is you're using multiple tanks, but you're using smaller tanks to achieve the same flow rates that you need for the application. And those tanks can vary from one tank all the way up to 10 tanks, or we can go with larger tanks to even get higher flow rates with multiple tanks next to each other. We're very careful about that as far as tank size go because you don't want to create what I just went over with you here with the flow rates and the metering issues, okay? Our wisdom program that we developed actually keeps all that in mind. 
So as you're answering the questions that go through things, it'll make sure that it calculates property and is always keeping the peak flow rate as well as the critical flow rate in mind. Now, if you go through our wizard program and order the system based on those recommendations, we always double check that before we complete the sale. So it won't get shipped to you until us and our engineers go through it. They will might even contact you to ask you some questions uh, just to make sure everything is good before we ship it out. So you're in good hands with us. Don't worry about that. Uh, you use our wisdom program freely. Now, if the wisdom program says uh, there's some data here that I'm not real sure about, it'll actually tell you to contact us. Uh, so don't be afraid to pick up the phone and, or email us and we'll be more than happy to help you out through the process. So let's go ahead and go through the illustration here real quick. All right, so as you can see here, we're running at five gallons per minute, okay? Between the zero and five gallons per minute, you can see this line right here already started on this big tank, okay? This is the charge resin here. This is the channel in here. So as you can see, you're running all this water through here at five gallons per minute. But before that five gallons per minute hit, you already have some channeling started because now you're not running enough water to keep this from happening. Okay. So you can see over here on the responsive flow multi-tank system, the MTS system, tank one is online, even at the lower flow rates with only four, what, five? five rooms full, um, the water is running equally through this resin bed. No channeling issues, no metering issues or anything. Okay. As you can see, the gallons per minute is going up. Okay. It surpassed 15 gallons per minute. Water is still equal through this system. Tank 2 has come online. Now you're running plenty of water through this traditional system where you're not going to have any more new, you know, new channeling happening. But when the hotel wasn't busy and you're running very little water through it, you already created that problem. It's already there, as well as some metering issues as well. Here, you never have those issues because of the size of the tank, the size of the resin, and the size of the meter. Okay, you get above 30 gallons per minute, tank three turns on. You still run it through one tank here. You get above 45, tank four comes on. You're up 50 gallons per minute here. And uh, it just keeps on going, okay? Larger tanks, more of them, or same size tanks, more of them to equal what these two tanks could do without all the issues. Now you might think of cost, say, well, geez, you know, having all those tanks about, it's gonna be costly. No, it's not really. It actually ends up being less money than your traditional style tanks. So um, go ahead and finish this up. So as you can see, your gallons per minute is dropping now. You're down to 30 gallons per minute. This tank is offline. This tank is offline. These two tanks are still on. Maybe you drop below 15. Now you just back onto this tank here. Okay. So that's how, that's the proper way of proper application for uh, commercial. Um, you don't want to do it any other way. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please visit our website at qualitywatertreatment.com, visit our wisdom program, give us a call, or use our live chat or send us an email. We're more than happy to help you out. Thank you very much. We really do appreciate you. Have a great day.